In this lesson, you'll learn how to load a carrier sheet that is supplied with the CE Lite 50. Carrier sheets are used for the purpose of cutting material that doesn't have any backing sheet, such as a crafting paper or chipboard materials. It also allows for material to be cut completely through the backing, such as for making pop out decals. When you take out your carrier sheet, go ahead and remove the white cover sheet. This will expose a semi-adhesive surface on which to place your material. Then take the material that you plan to cut and apply it to that semi-adhesive surface. Place it so that the material's corner is aligned with the cross mark on the corner of the carrier sheet. To start, Notice the two blue push roller levers on the inner sides of the CE Lite cutter. If you look at the left lever, notice that it has two positions, position 0 and position 1. When the lever is in the 0 position, this indicates that the push rollers are up and media can then be loaded. On the other hand, when the lever is in position 1, this indicates that the push rollers on that side are locked down which prevents media from being loaded or removed. If you look at the right lever, notice that it has four positions, position 0 through position 3, each with their own level of pressure. Position 0 indicates that the right side of the push roller bar is up, allowing for media to be loaded. Positions 1 through 3 indicate that the push roller is locked down on that side which prevents any media from being loaded or removed. Selecting which position to use depends on the width of the media you are loading. For instance, position 1 is mostly for narrower materials, such as ones that are 8 inches wide. Position 2 would be for medium width materials, such as ones that are 15 inches wide. And position 3 is for wider materials, such as ones that are from 17 to 20 inches. If you are concerned as to which position to use, the CE Lite takes the guesswork out of it by letting you know what position the right lever should be at after it scans the right side edge. To load media, start by setting both levers to position 0. Next, locate the two push rollers on the push roller bar and spread out the center push roller rings evenly between the two push rollers. This will create continuity of pressure on the loaded media. Next, bring the front edge of the carrier sheet to the push rollers. This will allow the push roller to be positioned at the edges of the carrier sheet. Start by aligning the right push roller over the edge of the carrier sheet. Do this by pressing the release button on the push roller and slide it over to the right edge of the carrier sheet. As for the left push roller, there are two positions. When using a sheet or the carrier sheet, align to this sheet icon. Continue to slide the material under the push rollers. Next, bring both push roller levers down to lock in the carrier sheet. On the control panel, press the carrier sheet button. The carrier sheet is now loaded and the cutter is ready to cut.